Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a quick church get ready with me. It's actually 7.03 in the morning. I have to be out of my house by 7.30 to be in church on time. So I'm going to start getting ready. I already did my brows and my primer. I use the Too Faced Hangover RX primer and for brows I actually got an eyebrow pencil not the one I wanted to get. I wanted to get the Anastasia brow is that's what it's called um before i had the l'oreal brow stylist definer and now i'm trying out the maybelline brow precise micro pencil it looks like this and i mean it's not bad but i feel like it doesn't compare to my l'oreal brow stylist definer i feel like that one gave me like a much more easier job and it was like easier this one's like kind of more waxy and doesn't like it gives me color but i just feel like it's not as creamy as i would want it to be but also I feel like the other one wasn't as creamy either. I don't know. I don't know y'all. I haven't used a brow pencil in a while Also, I'm kind of like mm, Debating this filming setup right now because there's like a shadow right here From my tripod I believe and I do not like that. So I don't know if I can fix this right now. Is that better? We're just gonna leave it at that Okay, so that's what I've done so far. I am gonna go in with a full coverage foundation because as you guys can see like my skin is not it's not it right now I feel like I was drinking water and everything this week but like girl like I'm really inconsistent and bad at that I was trying to drink a glass of water every day and I'm I do want to do a video on my channel about that um doing that challenge in hopes of actually making it a habit of me to drink a glass of water a day and being healthy majorly for my skin but also obviously it's gonna help my body it's gonna help me feel more energized and i feel like um i stopped drinking coffee and i started drinking more water and the starbucks the starbucks coffee like the bottle ones they don't make me go to the bathroom like at all like i'm like i told my mom like it doesn't do anything to me i'm immune to that and then once i like drank it again like after like drinking a bunch of water and not drinking coffee like it actually like made me go to the bathroom I'm just like whoa like i thought i was immune to this so I guess as like, as I kind of like stopped drinking it, I feel like I became less immune to it because it wasn't in my system so much and like it actually like didn't have an effect on me because it also doesn't wake me up. I don't feel like coffee wakes me up. It has to be like a certain type of coffee. It has to be like um, specific. It has to be strong. It has to be like something different to like make me hyper or like wake me up at all. Like Starbucks coffee doesn't do any of that to me um but it actually made me go to the bathroom so there's that observation i'm using the maybelline um super safe 24 hour foundation you guys know this has been my jam and jelly i've been loving this foundation so i do feel like my skin has been breaking out because i like kind of like stopped drinking much water and kind of gave up on it but like now my skin is kind of like going crazy so i'm like eh, i don't think i want to water and also i was picking up my skin right here and right here so i feel like that this my cheek area was because i was picking up my skin and then i just have like one frame and so that's it so note to self stop picking at your skin and start drinking more water again and don't give up on drinking water because it actually made me feel better um for concealer i'm going to be using the maybelline age rewind i feel like this whole thing is like sponsored by Maybelline, Maybelline, Maybelline because that's literally the brows foundation and now the concealer but Maybelline just is a really good brand and I really like Maybelline products so totally recommend oh my gosh frig full face Maybelline we have the powder too <laughs> y'all and the mascara I mean Maybelline mascara is like my favorite like L'Oreal Lash Paradise is good but I just feel like Maybelline has been like on top of the game with mascaras. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all comment down below what your favorite brand of makeup, of like drugstore or like makeup in general is. And comment down below also, what's your favorite mascara? Comment down below. We're baking with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose powder. And now we're gonna go in with some bronzer. This is my Rimmel Natural Bronzer. Literally the bronzer I use every single time. I only have two bronzers. I have this one and then the NYC Sunny Bronzer. But that one's like too red on me, so I don't really use it no more. Oh, and I also have the Milani um, Soleil Bronzer. 
yeah so i have three browsers in my collection and the soleil browser doesn't really show up on me like it's kind of like more cool tone like it still gives me some warmth but it's like more like cool tone on me so this one i feel like it's like the perfect like warmth for my skin and i just really like it you guys i actually refreshed my hair <laughs> this morning i was gonna hop in the shower and wash it and i was like eh i don't feel like it so i literally just threw on a headband um got my spray bottle and just started spraying my hair and then i put some shea moisture oh my gosh what is that called the curl curl enhancing smoothie i put some shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie in my hair like and this big little bro part of my twa and then here in the front i just finger curled the curls again with some curl enhancing smoothie and y'all i actually like my hair today like obviously it's like the shape is kind of weird and it doesn't have like a brown shape or anything because it's like growing and then some pieces curl and some pieces don't but i actually enjoy how my hair is looking today and i feel like that's because i refreshed it and I actually got like a good refreshment, refresh, Re refresher. I don't know how you say it, but I actually refreshed in a way that like my hair looks good. And I don't be refreshing y'all because like, it's like, I feel like you might as well just get in the shower and wet your whole head than to just use a spray bottle. But I feel like it actually helped me today. Like, I don't know if I'm just refreshing wrong or my hair was just kind of like weird and I don't want to curl because it was shorter back then or what was the tea back then when I didn't refresh but honestly now like yo I'm living for this refreshed hair like it looks so good alrighty now that I've done bronzer I'm gonna go ahead what was I gonna say I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my bank right now oh, with a big fluffy brush and now I'm gonna pick my bronzer I was gonna say contour but we're not contouring today so I'm just taking the fit me powder in light medium this one was fair light and this is light medium and opening that up I'm just gonna be taking this part of my sponge and dipping it in there and going right along here and i like dragging it down to kind of like lighten this part and make it like a harder contrast so i do that frick i was gonna put some bronzer in my crease and i forgot so i'm gonna do that right now because we're not doing shadow today so i do want to warm up the crease a little bit actually i feel like this brush is just kind of like too small so i'm gonna take a different brush like an actual like fluffy shadow brush fluffy blending brush and i'm just gonna pack on that bronzer and that crease there we go so you know we have some definition which is nice and now i'm gonna curl my lashes so that we can move on to mascara you guys i am not gonna be wearing falsies today i really just wanted to do a simple look because i honestly just want to see how my lashes are gonna look since i did get a lash lift like about a month ago i'd say i got a lash lift um and my lashes have been looking so good and like curls um and also as i mentioned in my last video i do want to like try out different mascaras and see what they do for my lashes last week i believe or like two weeks ago i tried out the rocket mascara and now I'm going to try out the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express. It looks like this is like a fun packaging. So I'm just going to apply that and see how I like it. Wow, you guys, I really like this mascara. I feel like also since I got the lash lift, like my lashes have just been looking um, longer than usual since they are lifted, girl. But y'all, look. <gasps> my eyelash, I don't know if you can see it very well. It's like, wait, I need to wipe this off. There's like a little thing right here. I don't know we're not doing that. Nope, not doing that. But I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but my lashes, y'all, I feel like I need to swim in. Like, look at that, you guys. No mascara. Mascara. I still have to finish out, like, the lower lash line, but oh my gosh, like, that difference. 
I, I'm loving, I'm loving this one. This one's my favorite so far. Mascara is done, y'all. Obviously, like, this is, like, my favorite eye because I feel like my lashes just look, whoo, so good. Also, I messed up, and as you guys can see, this, like, little dot. Um, that's mascara. So when that happens, just let it dry. At least that's what I've heard. Just let it dry so that it doesn't smudge and you can just, like, take it out as a whole. It does look kind of cute, so I might just keep it for, like, a little beauty mark or whatever. Anyways. For blush, I'm using, uh, gag. I guess I'm gonna be using uh, this one. Skillful by Tarte. This is my Tarte blush bazaar palette, y'all. You guys know I like my blush. I like my blush cheeks. They look cute. So, yeah. Also doing some blush on the nose. Because... I, that's just what I do. So, yeah. I put some lip balm on, and now I've got to my face up with a highlight. I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. Yeah. Now I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit, and then go in with the highlight so that it's not too too wet, and then it goes like, and then it's like a line of highlight that you cannot wipe because that has happened. And just, just, just close it so that it doesn't happen to you. I'm gonna highlight with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Golden Flower Crown. I haven't used this one in a while, and it's such a like a really pretty gold. So we're going for the gold today. Girl, that nose is button me. Okay, so I'm just gonna frick inner corner. How would I want to put it in a corner highlight? I was about to skip inner corner highlight. Yeah. Nose highlight is a little bit too intense, so I'm gonna take a powder brush. Where is my powder brush? This one. And I'm just gonna go over that lightly. Just to kind of like diffuse a little bit, make it like easy. That toned it down just a notch. So actually I don't know what lip I wanna do because I was just gonna do a clear lip gloss, but I feel like I want a color. So I'm gonna actually I'm not even done yet. I'm gonna do some nude liner in the waterline. This is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Cool Liner. Um, and I have a little eye booger. Oh my god. Why do you want to come out now? If I could get it open. <sighs> okay. We got it. And I'm just gonna run this on to my waterline. See that difference? This eye looks way more awake and open and this one's just like there, you know? It also kind of like lifts your eye a little bit, I feel. Now that I was looking at it like that. I think I'm gonna wear Lolita by Kat Von D, but it's not here on my table, so I'm gonna look over for it right now. I don't have like a really dark lip liner for this. I mean, I probably do, but I just like grabbed a light pink lip liner, and this is just gonna have to do for now. This one's Kylie, Kylie K, Candy K lip liner by Kylie, by the way. And then I'm just gonna fill my lips in with the lipstick. This one's the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in Lolita. Oh my gosh, finally using this, you guys. I did a haul, my last haul video. I showed you guys that I got this, and I'm like so excited to try it. Okay. I feel like the lipstick is way darker than what's showing up on my lips because I do have lip balm on. So I'm gonna take the lip balm off of my bottom lip. Yeah, I really like this color. It's like a, it's like a dark, pinky reddish but not red i don't know how to describe this color y'all go on the cavani website to actually look at the description of this color it's like not pink but it's like dark but it's like not red it's like it's like a light cherry i feel okay that's how i can describe it i'm done aren't i oh my gosh look at that glue look at that glue okay I need to setting spray it one more time. You all know, favorite setting spray in the face of the planet, more people have said. Let me swim you guys up a little bit. There we go. And I'm just gonna... That just brings it all together. Like, honestly, it really does. So I'm done, you guys. Wow. Do I want to add a gloss? Mm. Okay, that's it. This is my... Upper lip is fading because of the lip balm. Now I'm gonna have to reapply. 
Okay, you guys, so we're actually done with the look. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just like, oh, we should put my highlight. Oh, girl, I'm gonna put on some more boots and we're gonna have to go outside and take a picture. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. And yeah. <laughs> If you want to watch my last video, click right here. If you want to watch something else, click right here. And if you want to subscribe, click the red button down there, anywhere. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>